And now, back to the Dr. A Show with your host, Dr. Will Aguilar. Spanning a career on television and such shows as ER, NYPD Blue, and The Guiding Light, the multiple Emmy Award-nominated actress Sherry Springfield has become a household name. Her infectious smile and bubbly personality has made her one of America's most beloved actresses, and we have the pleasure of having her with us here today. Her newest movie is the Hallmark movie original, The Confession, by best-selling author Beverly Lewis, airing Saturday, May 11th, 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific and 8 p.m. Central. Hi, Sherry. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you for having me. Sherry, you spent many seasons playing the role of Dr. Susan Lewis in ER. What are your fondest <laughs> memories from that show? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I think, honestly, it's the things that I learned on that show. I mean, my age was mm. like, you know, my 20s and, and thir- early 30s. And just what I was going through in life and then playing a doctor and learning things that I personally would never get to learn being an actress and, and, and just how my life is. Just learning about medicine, meeting people in the medical profession, seeing all these cases all the time. And I was struck overall by actually, this is going to sound strange, by actually how hard it is to die. Like the, oh. how strong the life right. force is. Right. That's what I walked away with. I was like, you know what? People come into ERs. And, you know, no lie, with nails sticking out of their eyeballs, bullets in their head, in their heart, limbs chopped off, and they live. They, they go home. It says something about, obviously, our form of Western medicine, like, is, is, it's expertise, you know, but, but also that right. the will to live is very, it's, it's almost impenetrable. And it takes a special person to do those things and to help other people. Oh, yes. Um, not, not, not only get better, but feel better about themselves and, and go through a very difficult time in their lives. Yes, and and I also learned from that, right, playing a doctor, that I was like, oh, okay, as I started to approach this, it's like, this is a woman who, when someone is bleeding or vomiting, she runs towards that. That's me. That's my calling. And, and I think that changed me. It definitely gave me confidence to be more of that kind of person. Like, I kind of pride myself now, and I like to get certified in everything. And, you know, that if, <laughs> God forbid, something happened to someone I was in a grocery store or whatever, you know, I know right. CPR, or that, that I would just be a person that would help. Yeah, but you're absolutely right. Those people are, are different, and I admire them so much. Now, you had your first child during that time, didn't you, when you were in ER? <laughs> yes. That was the joke. I was either pregnant, nursing. Like, it was so crazy <laughs> on that <laughs> show. It was funny. Yeah, I did. How did having a child change your life? And I'm not talking about the character. I'm talking about you. Uh, well, I used to have one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 um, it, <laughs> no, of course. It, you know, it made me more. I just have. I have a longer fuse. It actually made me more. I'm. Pr- I'm a pretty laid back person, but now. It's like, mm-hmm. oh wow, you got to be kind of ready for anything, <laughs> you know. Right, and, absolutely. And you're, yeah, you know, it's like times change, schedules change. You deal with all kinds of people that you would never be dealing with if it were just you. And mm-hmm. you know, you you just got to be like, okay, this is for my kid, and you know, you got to, and even going through, you know, your child's different developmental stages, you know, it, it requires. Patience, I think, and a certain amount of this too shall pass, you know. So mm-hmm. I think it made me a little more laid back and a little more patient. Although my children and probably to, wouldn't say that. Th- that strength that you picked up playing Dr. Susan Lewis in ER, maybe a little bit of that you know, kind of helps you be a better mommy too, right? There you go, exactly. Like building on that, exactly. Now tell us about your new project, The Confession. It's going to air on the Hallmark Channel on May 11th. Yes, it's the second part, to, I think this is a trilogy, the second part to The Shunning, and it's basically this, um, a girl who ended up growing in an Amish community because her mother, who I play, uh, was, you know, pregnant very, very young and in a very bad situation in her family life and gave up the child for adoption, felt like she couldn't do it, so she gave her daughter up for adoption. Uh, well, in the hospital, you know, in it turns out in the hospital she gave it to an Amish family. She knew they would be loving and that this would happen. Well, cut to, you know, years down the road, she's looking to, you know, without spoiler alert, but it, things happen in her life and she's hoping to make some sense of some of the decisions she's made, um, wrap up some things emotionally and, and mentally for herself. 
and um, she wants to really reconnect with her daughter. And, and so that kind of happens in the first, the shunning, and then this one following it up with their reconnection. But this one's a little more, uh, there's, some, there's a sinister element to it of her being right. duped, which gets into the whole thing of, you know, wanting to believe something so badly that you, you know, you blind yourself to the truth. Um, right. but, being brave enough but, to look at it, to look at, movie, at your truth. In, in this movie, um, you you play the role of someone who is terminally ill. Yeah. I mean, what what kind of mindset do you have to be in to play a role like that? Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I was. Um, I started off. I just kind of. It sounds so funny. I I read the Tibetan Book of Dying. Um, cause I oh, thought, what, wow. what, what's out there about dying, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, and, yes. um, I read, yeah, or the, the, is it the book of the dead, the second book of dying. And it was so beautiful and so transformative and, and, and made me look at death and, 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 you know, they talk about, how, Hey, listen, death and taxes, you know, the book doesn't say that, but, but at the end of the day, you know, it's <laughs> right. like, we need to open our eyes here. It is death and taxes. <laughs> This is gonna happen, <laughs> sure. and um, I I think I kind of just tried to really, you know, meditate on death and dying and what that meant and what people go through, and and then I was looking in books, you know, the Bible as well, like what it says about dying and and what that means, and I think I kind of, especially with this movie and what my character goes through, I found that very very helpful because she's definitely on a spiritual journey. You know, and that, that, through the story, this is important to her about doing the quote right thing, and and relieving some of that pain in in herself. So, kind of more of a spiritual um, take on it really helped me. Um, just meditating on dying and, and thinking, you know, what is that when you're looking at your life? I just thought about it a lot. It was on my mind constantly, and reading about right. terminally ill patients and what they were saying and what they were thinking and. We've all read and heard those stories of, you know, people in their last days feeling okay about it. Mm-hmm. You know, Very like there's acceptance. an acceptance. Not that, hey, I just won the lottery, but, you know, th- there's a certain level of, of acceptance, I think, that I've noticed um, happens mm-hmm. to a certain kind of person. So I definitely Absolutely. played that as well, you know. Well... You know that that of course um, it, it's a very difficult role to play, and um, and I, I I saw how you played, it and you did a, a marvelous job on it. And and the movie uh-huh. also talks about the the love of a mother for her child, and that mm. bond that transcends all obstacles. As a yeah. mother, have you ever experienced that type of love in your life? Uh, you know what? Every day, every day, it's like it's just there. It's like even my son's so frustrated with his learning long division. And you just go, man, like if I could just feel that, you know, if I could take away that frustration, I would I would do it. If I could do anything, it's just constant. Or, you know, you see that like they're experiencing some real sadness or something personal happens, and you're just there. You're just there. You truly just forget about yourself in it. It's just such an easy connection that, yeah, you go, no, not, no, not them. <laughs> And 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 it, and it is you can see how it transcends there in in the movie, um, oh. and how it progresses along, and you did a beautiful job with that. Now the movie is uh, has a strong um, Amish car, Amish character to it. Um, what yeah. did you learn about the Amish way of life during the filming of this movie? That and, and what are some of the things you didn't know about them? Well, I didn't know that they considered education past like I guess eighth grade to be prideful. Hmm. Yeah, okay. as, as for women, I don't know how far the men go, but it's definitely it's considered you're being proud. It's um, so they're they're really not big into education, and um, they're uh, so I didn't know that. I thought that was like wow, and this that's amazing, and the, also that they're really there's a lot of skills. They're, they're very skilled. You know, they're obviously yes. very hard workers, but when you really look into the life, it's like, you know, you have to be skilled. If you're going to live that simply, you need to know how to build a house, make your own clothes. <laughs> you know, they're highly skilled people. Mm-hmm. They're expert tradesmen and craftsmen and, and women, too. Um, and their work is beautiful. In the, in the shining, the first one, they, had, they hired some Amish women 
to make some of the clothing. Mm -hmm. And it was just beautiful. You forget, like, what beautiful handmade things are like. Well, you know, I really love a story in which all the pieces fit together nicely, and this is such a story. So um, I, want, I want our listeners not to forget to watch the world premiere of Beverly Lewis's The Confession, a Hallmark Channel original movie on Saturday, May 11th, 9 p.m. Eastern, and Pacific, and 8 Central. And Sherry, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Can't wait to see oh. what, what your next project is. Thanks very much, and good oh, luck with great. the show. Oh, great. Thank you. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Well, this week, I want to announce the winner of our iPod Nano Drawing. And it's none other than Sarah Vickruck, all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia. And as always, I want to thank Sarah and everyone else for listening to The Dr. A Show. That's all for this week. And don't forget to check us out at our website, thedraashow.com, and listen to previous podcasts. Until next week, this is Dr. A wishing you a healthy and happy week.